Well, at this point in February, it, it's the highest sense of urgency. All of these games that you're playing, each team has the, the most incredible sense of urgency because you're fighting for to get in the tournament, you're fighting for seeding, you're fighting for standings in the ACC. And same thing for us. We talk about playing desperate a lot. And that's how, not just how we play, but it's how our opponents play. I go back to the attention to detail and just the importance of every possession when you're playing because there's a lot at stake with these games. At the same time, that's what you want to be playing for. You don't want to be playing in meaningless games. You want to be playing for something where there's meaning behind it. And in the end of February, in the ACC, all these games matter. Cameron Indoor Stadium turned 84 years old last month and over the last week has proved to be as spry and as energetic as ever. The Grand Old Arena was scheduled to host five ACC basketball games in six days and put on display its renowned home court advantage through the first four as the Duke men defeated Notre Dame and Boston College while the Duke women also won twice including an overtime conquest of rival North Carolina before a sellout crowd. And now it's time for the finale of this hectic week as two of the league's top scoring and best shooting squads take center stage on Big Monday. From Durham, it's Duke and Wake Forest. Pass to baseline of Filipowski. Face is up on Carr. Goes into a double team. Fed it to Mitchell to throw it down. Fed it to Flip. Forced it up. Got it at the buzzer. And the Blue Devils will lead at halftime. Roche bounces it for Mitchell, top of the key. Collects, jumps up from three. Give it to him. Mark Mitchell sizzling. He's got 17, and it's the biggest lead of the night at eight. See what he does. Thinking about a jumper instead. He'll back him down at the block, into the paint, rise up and score. Mark Mitchell on a mission. He's got 20. Five to shoot. Jared up top of three. All's well that ends well. He knocks down a three. Roach off of a screen set by Flip. How about a three? Big time! Cameron in a frenzy. 66 57, 428 to go. Into the paint, all the way in, fed it to Flip. One dribble goes up and scores. Kyle Filipowski with 21. It's 74 67 with one minute to go. Back up top, Monsanto will launch, and it won't go. The rebound for Mitchell, and that may do it. Mark dribbling up court, 18 seconds to go. Oh, he's got a free lead to hammer it down. The final five seconds will melt away, and the Blue Devils get it done. 77 to 69, the final score. Now 19 and five overall, 10 and three in the ACC. Well, from the Wake Forest game, I thought our defense was terrific. To hold them to 69 points, they're one of the more explosive teams in the country, not just the ACC on the offensive end. And uh, I thought we answered their runs, you know, to, to not give up the lead once in a 40-minute game. I think that says something about our group. And, uh, you know, you wish you would have extended the game a couple different times. We couldn't. Uh, they made some big plays and big shots, but then we had to answer. And each time we did. And the, the, the front court for us, the, the games that Mark Mitchell and Kyle Filipowski had were terrific. I mean, they were uh, lights out the whole way. Uh, you know, Mark has two rebounds away, is two rebounds away from a double-double. Flip has 21 and 10, Mark 23 and eight. But it was just their presence that they had playing every possession that stood out to me. Mitchell on the left, a dribble and a handoff for McCain. Back for Mark, slicing in, one dribble, took the contact, counted, and a chance for three. And a high five along the baseline for the folks in the expensive seats. Well, the focus from our players has been terrific, and it's a time, it's a, 
you know, you get into the, the, the middle of February and it, it becomes, the preparation becomes very mental, you know, because you have to have great focus. Uh, the attention to detail has to go up as the season goes on and you can't practice as long. You know, we're, we're always cautious about the taking care of our bodies, you know, taking care of the players and their bodies. And so practice is shorter, more walkthroughs. Uh, when we do go contact, it's for a very minimal amount, amount of time. And because of that, you have to have great mental preparation and focus for the games. And our guys have taken a step with learning how to do that. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah. Away over flip, missed everything, an air ball, and McCain out of there with it. In transition, three on four, takes it himself, beep, beep, into the paint, off the window, and in. McCain delivers, and all of a sudden, it's a seven point lead on a nine nothing run. 12 and a half minutes to play until the break. Here's a steal by Flip. Stewart has it ahead for Proctor. Got by Madsen to punch it home with the right hand. Here's Flip looking to the left. Trying to get it to Roach. He catches along the left sideline. A shoulder shake right by Kelly. 15-footer. Wow. Jeremy Roach just took Kelly to school. And it's 20-14. to 14. To the right, McCain a three. No, the rebound fought for. And Post has it, but it's deflected by Stewart, who goes back up and scores. He stole the outlet pass. Put it down, and the Blue Devils lead by three. On the left, McCain missed all four of his threes in the first half, but makes the first one here. Mitchell into the paint on the drive, spins, goes back to the left, put it up, rattles it home. Mark Mitchell, a strong move inside. And the lead is 11, 43 to 32, as the Blue Devils have scored the first seven points of the second half. Jeremy can shoot if he 
wants to, sizing it up. Instead, Fed Mitchell, he'll take the three up top and hit it. Mark Mitchell with just his fifth three of the season. He's got 10 in the lead back to 11. Ricochet out for Kelly, who put it off the window, missed it, and Filipowski has the rebound. Chance to add to an 11 point lead. It's Mitchell, a Euro step, a scoop and score. Mark Mitchell in takeover mode. Timeout, Boston College. Number 25 going to work. The crowd rises to its feet at Cameron Indoor Stadium. And the Blue Devils have their 18th win of the season as they hand Boston College their largest defeat of the year. 80 to 65, the final score. All five starters in double figures, led by Mark Mitchell, who had 17 today. When you think about the Boston College game, I, I really I start with our defense. Uh, we uh, had some different matchups in that game. We actually put Mark on their their big guy post, who's very versatile, can go inside and out. Uh, but we switched a lot, and so when you switch, you have to have great toughness uh, for our guards defending the paint, and then also great discipline and talk on the perimeter with, with calling switches and making sure we're having great communication. We did that. The other thing was what Mark Mitchell did in the second half. I mean, he just went on a big time tear there in the second half, gave us separation in the game. And I don't think we really looked back from that moment, but uh, the, the way, the level that Mark is playing at such a high level in that, that stretch in the Boston College game in the second half is a great example of that. Tonight, John Shire's group will host Notre Dame. A second date with the Irish after a 67-59 win in South Bend last month. A game that saw Mark Mitchell go for 23 points and 14 rebounds. Both career highs, a performance begging for an encore tonight in front of the Crazies. Here's Shrewsbury across midcourt, trying to drive on Proctor, dribbled off his own knee, and McCain has it. Three on two, into the paint, through a double team, off the window and down. Back up top, Proctor will launch, and it rimmed out. Mitchell, an offensive rebound, right back up and in. To the right of McCain, and now Young catches at the top of the key. A handoff for Kayla Foster, a driving lane, a scoop and a score. McCain to the right, Foster driving the baseline, cut off by Booth, pulls up and scores. 12 straight, and it's 15 to five. Here's Kinesny trying to drive into the paint, scoop it up, oh, blocked by Stewart. Proctor saved it to flip, and here we go, four up three the other way. Lob it to Stewart to throw it down. Cameron in a frenzy, and the lead is 12. Flip the offensive rebound. A kick out for Foster. He'll reload and knock it down. 17 straight. Notre Dame hasn't scored in eight minutes. And the final 10 seconds will come off at Cameron. It was a 17-0 run that really gave them the separation they needed. And in the end, they win it by 18. 71 to 53, the final score. Well, throughout my time here as a player and as a coach, there's always been Duke runs. You know, it's no other way to put it. It's just Duke runs where all of a sudden you go on a 6 0 run, you go on a 9 2 run, and where you just you get separation, you keep your foot on the gas. And throughout the years, that's been a staple of our program and who we are in the Notre Dame game. You know, we go on a 17 0 run, which is the largest that we've had this season and I think for us just stringing together stops you know I feel we're a team that can really get hot and score quickly and in bunches when we're right but if we do that collectively on defense on a consistent basis you can go on some runs like that and I thought there was a big step for us just to keep our foot on the gas keep getting stops and then that translated to scoring on the other end every year Thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. 
We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve. You weren't going to click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. Duke's New Century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists. Where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory. Where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Into to shoot, whips it to the baseline and call. Filipowski staring him down. Got by him, put it up, tough two, left it short, flip, fighting for the rebound, tapped it to Mark Mitchell. And Mitchell will lead the break. Going to work on Monsanto, put it off the window and in. Mark Mitchell has 12 and the lead back to four. Toughness has definitely been developing with our team, and I point to the last three games we've played with, you know, really not giving them the lead. And, you know, we're playing with, you know, a good lead throughout the majority of the three games and just keeping them at bay and not letting the lead uh, go to them or the lead get too close where you can't get the separation. And, you know, it's tough. I thought there was a couple plays we could have made to get more separation in the weight game, uh, but we didn't make them. And you actually put more pressure on yourselves. And I, I thought our guys responded in a big time way with some of the plays they made down the stretch to get that separation back. And it speaks to their character, but it speaks to their toughness that they've developed throughout the course of the season. And then because of that, we've developed as a team. Market flip, they've been the anchors for us, you know, uh, in the second halves of both of these games. And the way Market driving the ball has been terrific. And here, he just had an opening, and with the spacing around him, he was able to attack the rim. The more he does that, the better for us. And Mark is really crafty in the paint. You know, right there you see he comes to a stop, his footwork, his pivots. And then I love how confident he shot the basketball. He's worked really hard on it and I feel confident when he goes to shoot those open ones. Here again, on the finish, it starts with the great pass by Jared, the pass ahead, and then Mark's length being able to Euro step around the defender to finish. He's been so good getting out in transition for us. One of the luxuries we have is putting Mark and Philip in pick and roll. And Mark pops for three there, he can roll, he can handle in pick and roll. He's one of the most versatile players in the league because of that. And then the job that Flip has done finishing, you know, he's just been stronger around the basket. He's taken his time. Uh, he's played with great poise. Here he had the mismatch. And then you see Jared on the boards again and it leads to two easy ones for Flip. This is another example of Flip and Mark both being able to screen and roll, but also pop. And it just spreads the defense out. It's tough to cover both especially when both those guys can really drive. Same thing against Wake. Here Mark is, they were blitzing our ball screens. Mark did a great job of getting out early and then finishing through contact. And you love when Mark has a chance in the open court to attack. We want him to attack always. Another great read by Mark. Started with pick and roll with, with Flip and with Jared. And then Mark was able to make the great read on the drive. And then another of Mark's threes where he just shot with great confidence. This is one of the things Mark has continued to do as the season has gone along and just be able to play out of the post. And he had one-on-one -on -one coverage and was able to attack it. And then here I thought they were gonna foul, but Mark, it's a heads up play. 
just to push it down the court and then take the two points. Great way to finish the game. Hey, what's up, Blue Planet, man? I'm here with Kyle Filipowski. We just got a tough win against a good Wake Forest team, man. How does it feel to come back two days after you know, we played on Saturday. How does it feel to come in here and get a good big win? It's, it's great, man. You know, the environment, um, always, always the best in, in college basketball. Um, just being able to come out, show up for the fans, get the get the tough, tough uh, uh, home win, you know, it's big time for us. Wait, let me see something real quick. What'd you got? What'd you finish with? You finished with, uh, you, fin you finished with 23, 23 and uh, only eight rebounds. You're close to a double-double. It was, it was close though. I was, uh, you know, I got it when it mattered. Got it when it counted. Hey, you had, you had some, you had some tough man moves down there in the post tonight. How, how, how'd you feel going up against them? Um, you know, we had some advantage once we got after Reed and uh, foul trouble, you know, they went small and um, they're a really good team, man. We had some advantage that we thought we could expose and I just tried to take my time down there and uh, go finish it. Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you guys say to fans now that, that we're going on a, a three game away, away trip? Uh, keep supporting us. We know y'all support us on the road, man, but uh, it's going to be good. We're going to fight and uh, it's going to be great. With NBA All-Star Weekend coming up, I, you know, it's, it, for me, it's it's uh, so exciting to think about uh, having two of our guys in the All Star game. You know, Jason Tatum and Paulo Boncaro. And for Jason, it's uh, you know, not, I never get sick of seeing his name as an All Star starter. Uh, but but for Paulo, uh, for the first time ever, as a, as a second year guy in the league to be named as an All Star, what a special thing! It's a credit to both of those guys for the work they've put in. As long as I've known them, they've been two of the hardest workers I've come across. They've had a true love for the game, and because of those two things, they've created a great belief in themselves. And I'm so proud of both those guys. And then for Derek, you know, to be in the Rising Stars game, he's had a great year. Uh, you know, he has a nose injury right now, but he's been just absolutely terrific, as good as any rookie, uh, with the impact that he's made on winning uh, with the Mavs, and can't wait to watch all those guys. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. Statistically, the world is losing color. But who wants a gray world when we could have this? Honey yellow. Perry pinkle. Indy gold. <laughs> Things stay the same when the same is where you stay. But in hundreds of Delta destinations, simply opening your eyes can open your world. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. It's been a special week in Cameron, and you think about the games that our team and the women's team have had here, specifically the game they had this past Sunday, you know, beating Carolina at home, and you think about some of the games that have been won in Cameron, and some of my most special moments here are the ones where you come from behind, 
where you don't necessarily play your best and you just win it with grit and, and toughness and determination. And that's what the women's team did. I mean, their players were so tough down the stretch and their defense was off the charts. And uh, the crowd was electric. Uh, the whole vibe of Cameron for our games, it's been terrific. It's just been, it's been off the charts and uh, so grateful and thankful that we're able to play here and coach here. Uh, it's the best place in the world to be. You guys showed a lot of heart, man. We got three big wins in five days taking care of our home court. Three big wins in five days. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. We're proud of that as a staff. That's what it's all about, man. And let's keep learning. And let's keep learning as we go along. It's always better to learn from wins. <laughs> Better learn from wins. Like whenever you can get this, I'm telling you guys, they're good. They're good. Now we get a chance to get three road wins. Now we're going to the road for the next three games. Let's go take care of business in somebody else's court. I can't tell you guys how proud I am and how happy I am that you guys battle, battle, man. Over the course of these three games at home, I feel our team made great progress and great steps forward. I, you know, you, you look at our defense. I thought collectively in the three games. Our defense took a step forward, the way we defend the three-point line, uh, our, our rebounding, and then also just learning how to win. You know, that, that just comes with more games that you play together. You have to figure out how to win some of these games, how to get separation. And were we perfect? No, but that's what basketball is all about. You have to overcome mistakes that you make. You have to overcome adversity that comes your way. And I think this group really uh, took a big step forward in this uh, three-game homestand. Well, our schedule is a, it's, it's been unorthodox, having three games in a row at home and now three games on the road. And no matter what, you know, we've talked a lot this year about controlling the things you can control. And it doesn't matter if you're on the road or if you're at home. Defense travels. You know, you have to, you have to be the same way you know, on the defensive end, and that's that's where you develop a toughness, that's where you develop a togetherness, and it's where you develop an edge. And so for us, going into this three-game uh, road trip, that's, that's gonna be the key thing that we emphasize, is our defense and our collective effort on that end. Offense will take care of itself as long as we bring that.